Hi guys, this is DJ, your friendly neighborhood French horn player. And today I wanted to show you guys this app that another horn player has showed me, which is very beneficial to all of us. And of course, the people around the world, this app is free. You can get it on the Google Store or the Google Play Store, or you can get it on Samsung Galaxy App Store. Um, this is for literally everyone who is struggling on their fingerings and how to sound things out a little bit and how to try to understand what notes sound like but they don't quite know and so they just guess by hitting whatever fingering sounds right so today I want to help you guys out and show you something that will blow your mind so here we go so um, I have already downloaded this app on my phone and to my tablet so um, the app looks like this. It has a white logo on it. It has red letters French horn. It has a pretty picture of a French horn. So the app is called French Horn Fingerings. It's usually the first thing that pops up on the app store. So as I go and hit the app to turn it on, um, it shows this page. Usually before it shows this page, it asks you to do like a little survey just to understand you as a player. So the first thing it asks you is music note name. Now, this is telling us universal, like how do we understand how music is written. So for example, in the English language, we just have these notes right here, which we're all familiar to in the US, which is nice. And then it'll ask you to change it. So then people who live in the other side of the world, so who lives in Northern Europe, you can also push this button. And then this translates to how Northern Europeans translate music, which I think is pretty cool. And I guess I don't know what the difference really is, except for the fact that I guess their music is differently or their alphabet is different. And then another option you can choose from is Neo-Latin, which is basically solfeging everything, which I, this looks pretty cool to me. I like this because it has um, everything. It has the Mi, Fa, Fa sharp, and it like tells you everything if you know how to solfege. So I'm switching it back to English because I am American, of course. Now, of course, it says language. So basically, if you speak English or France or Dutch or whatever, it translates everything. So I like this app a lot. And then this is sounds. Now, the sounds, it's going to ask you, um, do you want to disable the sounds and the button will be hidden? There's basically a little button app on the right side that's going to ask you if you want to see the sound. I personally like the sound, so I keep that the way it is. And then it's asking me, what kind of French horn am I playing? So, of course, as we all know, I'm playing the F and B flat side of the horn, which is a double horn. They also have the B flat side of the horn by itself and the F side of the horn by itself, which I like a lot. So, as I click the back button, it's going to take me to this home page here. Now, this home page is really simple. I like it. It's easy to use. Basically... It shows me up here that this is the number of my standard fingerings, the trigger, keys one, two, three. And we all know that the fingerings button down here can adjust to whatever note you're playing depending on the pitch. So I can just click two out of four, three out of four, or four out of four. And the cool thing about this app is that the keys light up so it's showing you what fingers to play or to push down. I really do like this feature because all I have to do is search the note. Now when I search the note, usually I can just, give me a second, I have to auto adjust this. So when I search the note, it's going to take me to this page, which this page I find very helpful. This is basically a fingering chart and it's telling me all of my notes over here and on the other side it tells you if you were playing it like say on a keyboard if you were playing it a flat or a sharp which tells you how these notes are the same. For example in the key of C if you play C sharp it's the same as D flat and of course I can prove this theory by just going to the keyboard and just going like this. And so Another thing I like is the fact that it, down here it has octaves to choose from. So I can simply just go back. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I can simply just go back an octave and it will automatically just show me 
the bass clef. So now we're getting into the really, really deep stuff, which horn players usually don't go into. But as you see, it shows you the same thing. It gives you an option if you want this to be your starting page. I prefer not. I prefer if I start from standard middle C, so that way I know where I'm going from here. And it does the same thing when you go an octave higher. So of course it shows you all the keys. And of course, the highest note us horn players can play is a F, which I would be amazed if anybody can play that today, probably professionals who are better than me. So as I go back, if that's too complicated for you, they also give you another option. They let you give the option of pressing it yourself. So obviously sharps go up a step, flats go down a step. So basically if, if I just decided to change the key or I didn't want to do that because it's a waste of time, I could just simply do this and it'll automatically take me to the next note. And it's really cool because every time I press a note, the most important thing is if I can't hear the note or if I don't understand the note, I can click this little button right here, which I mentioned before, it hide the sound, which I would prefer you don't hide the sound because you need to hear the sound. So all I do is press this little button right here and it plays a note for me, which is kind of cool. So I like this app. I recommend this app to anyone who is struggling and to anyone who thinks that they need extra help. And I wish that someone would have introduced me to this app like a while back if I was in middle school or high school because I definitely could have benefited from this a lot. I am benefiting from this app now and it is really helpful and I suggest that if you can spread the word, tell people about this app. This app is really helpful to us French horn players. And so I'll come back to you guys with another video of either me playing or me showing you how to play some more awesome scales that hopefully I play right for your sakes. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!